Hello friends and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 10.2 with your host Rongo the Bold and we are starting Season 2. Same options as last time, we'll do a Nomad 35% night on a 30 day, a 30 minute day, a normal aggression, zombie running default, uh, loot abundance 50%, 30 day respawn, drop on death everything, 90 second enemy memory, very high enemy spawning, uh, airdrops every day, and I'm leaving the craft timer off just to keep things moving along. So I am looking forward to this second playthrough. We have some big changes in place. Um, forges now require a book uh, before you can craft a forge. So that is going to be a big change in the game. Um, hopefully I can find a, f a book really quickly in order to get myself going. Um, but it's going to be interesting. I might end up uh, having to scavenge a bit more than normal at the beginning, but we'll see. I'm using a game name of Sabretooth, which I have tested out and found that it uh, seems to have a nice uh, plains biome. So I'm hoping it uh, works again this time. So let's go ahead and kick this thing off. I hope you guys liked uh, the ending for season one. Um, I was going to continue it, but uh, it just seemed like the perfect way to hit, to end that season. Kind of a, an ignoble ending for our hero, but you know what? Sometimes life just takes the crap on you. All right, it takes a few seconds when you first do it the first time because it's got to generate the entire world. But soon we shall be in. All right, and duck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run east. Um, actually, so we've got uh, what? A, get out of the water here. We've got a, appears to be a pine forest that way. Um, we've got wastelands to the north of us. What do we have here? Well, first thing we have is a rock and some sticks. Uh, looks like we have a plains right in front of us. This is actually perfect. All right, let's grab that. First thing you want to do, grab a rock, grab some grass, grab a stick, grab some sticks. You actually get multiple sticks off of these. So actually that's enough sticks for right now. We'll go ahead and craft this down to plant fibers. Craft this to a small, small axe, and then we'll make a stone axe. First weapon, gotta get it going right away. Now, the uh, torch is in the game, and it is actually pretty decent against the bad guys. However, oh, that is not planes. Planes do not have water in them. So we are going to keep moving. One thing we will gather here is some wood, and we're going to be looking for... Um, nests as quickly as possible and stones so we can start crafting a crossbow so anyway I was saying on the torches they are a limited use item now so you have to be careful um, I'm gonna play this one a little more cautiously than I did the last season uh, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna do my best to, to not die as long as possible in the game so that's gonna require me to be a little more avoidance um, and to be uh, playing a little carefuler than I did last time through. So, even though I think we ended ended that season with twelve deaths over thirty days, uh, and pretty much uh, didn't have any deaths at all that last the last day. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cross the. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Might be a little risky, but I'm gonna go over here and try to find one of these prefabs in the wasteland with a stove or a uh, toilet in them. Now the benefit of the stove is a lot of times you will find cooking pots in them and on the uh, toilets you can bust them open and get a short iron pipe which is always one of your first needs if you were going to make a um, these are good for wood as well. If you're going to make your, what's the thing called? 
forge. <laughs> and while I'm here, it's always a good idea uh, while you're while you're next to sand to go ahead and grab a little bit of sand um, so you can make some bottles later on. Because as soon as you can start making water, you want to start making water in bulk. And I'm also going to grab three chunks of clay because again, once I get my forge going, I need to be able to have that clay on hand um, to make things. So I'm hunted by what? Probably that ass head over there. So let's, I think we're okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get our clay. Now I need three pieces because three pieces will, basically will serve all of our. Oh, that's that guy. Okay. Okay, he's getting a little close. Let me uh, let me back off here. I don't really want to fight those guys yet. So um, we've got all this range up here, so I'm not too worried. Okay, what do we got here? Lockers. Okay, hopefully lockers will hold. Okay, I'm gonna be looking. Actually, I'll go ahead and grab that hat too. Every little bit of of defense off the off the beginning will be good. I'm hoping these lockers will spawn the forge book. I'm not sure if they will or not. This is this is my first playthrough uh, with the forge book in place. So, drop these on our guy. Look, he's all dressed already. Yay. Um, okay, let's keep going. I like to ditch that guy if I can. Now these. Uh, uh, angle iron bits here are also great. I'll go see if I can grab a couple of these really quick. Each one of these is worth... Okay, where is it? I don't see... Okay. Uh, oh, there he is. Okay. So each one of these is worth an ingot once you uh, have your forge up and going. So these are good to grab. Um, you can also grab lockers. Uh, and fridges and stoves, and they all work pretty well. Okay, I'm undetected. Is he still walking toward me? Yeah, he is. Oh, I'm hunted again. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, we got a chest up here. You can actually grab these and bring them back to your base as well. It's gonna whack on. Oh, I want that. But uh, I I uh, I can't risk it yet. I really want to risk it, but I can't risk it yet. So let's, uh, we got what appears to be, okay, so this must be the edge, if I'm looking right here, I don't know if that's the um, edge of the hub city or not there, thinking so. So let's go ahead and cross the river again. The nice thing about these is the kind of bleed effect, oh fuck. Oh crap, this is not, this is not, this is not how I envisioned my day starting. Oh fuck, there's another one. Does it see me? Does it see me? Okay, you're, I mean, your torch is pretty good at the beginning. It's a pretty effective weapon. Um, oh, crap. This is not a good start. Get off me, bitch. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Okay, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Let's uh, live. Oh, fuck. Here it comes again. Die, 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 die. Yes. Screw you, zombie dog. Oh, okay. Um, torch is already, you know, pretty, pretty bad shape. Um, I really want to grab that duffel bag though, because those duffel bags um, often have uh, food. They're actually one of the best loot spots in the game. Okay, I'm just gonna get it and get. Okay, see you guys. I need to get get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, that's the dog. Okay. Um, I want to minimize as much running as, as possible because when you run, um, you do use food quicker. Your, you use your uh, fullness quicker. Especially now that I've got the freaking zombie plague, which is not a good way to start the game. I'm five minutes in. I've already got zombie aids. I'm gathering as much cotton as I can right at the right bat so I can make myself a um, sleeping bag um, as well as more clothes. The sleeping bag will let me be, uh, you know, create a spawn point for myself really quick. So we're in this nice pine forest biome. What the hell? And I'm freaking dying. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well, you remember I was mentioning that I'm going to do my best uh, to not die as much as I did. Well... Oh, great. Um, where are we? And where were we? I think we're down. Yeah, we're down that way. Uh, I still... I don't want that. And I don't want this. These are two things I do not want in life. So we are going to... I guess we're going to head back towards our bag. Um... While I'm here in the snow biome, um, it is a marvelously wonderful idea to grab um, as many blueberries as you can. Blueberries don't smell, uh, they give you hydration and fullness, and you can survive on them for days. Really? Are you just teasing me, or...? Alright. Okay, so I'm looking right now. Okay, got that. Okay, let's let's go ahead and get our our wonderful stone axe going again. Dang it! I I really didn't want to die right off the bat. But I guess uh, you know you don't get to decide that. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and crafting. Oops, let's grab one of those. You can right click and you can drop the item. Now it used to be they always dropped three. Uh, supply crates. And it looks like they do not do that anymore. I've had, I've, I've been seeing a lot of them fly overhead and never drop a thing. Okay, dear. Damn dogs. I mean, it just, it's a, ah. Uh. Yeah. When you get dogs, is really, at the beginning of the game, there's really not much you can do. I mean, I did manage to kill two of them. Um, I, I killed that third one even though he, you know, killed me so I, I still think that uh, I did okay sometimes you get a bad you get a bad start in the game uh, you get dogs and there's really not a whole lot you can do about it uh, just grabbing all these rocks it's usually pretty easy to spot rocks and um, nests in the snow biome but you do want to avoid the zombies because they are tougher than motherfuckers. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Get a little too close. A little too close. All right. Let's grab these. We're gonna end up with like 500 rocks, which is good. You need rocks for your campfire. You need rocks for yeah. Hi, honey. Oh, she's a nurse. Okay, nurses are worth going for because a lot of times they have nothing. Uh, nurses will drop um, medical supplies, so they're a good, good find. Let me grab. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of these. All right, it's actually kind of nice because you, in some ways, the snow biome is not a bad spot. Um, the zombie density is actually lower than other biomes. Um, you just have to worry about the zombies being um, twice as badass, 
and the other beneficial part is no dogs. It's a horn over there. All right. Who's who's hunting me? Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm gathering some wood to start making my crossbow. Oh crap! Oh, bleeding out. Of course I'm bleeding out. Damn it! And I don't have a, I don't have any cloth. No cloth, nothing. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! And I'm gonna die. <sighs> All right. Take three. Where the hell am I? Okay, I'm right. I'm right there, so I can go grab the little, small, meager amount of supplies I had. I'm surprised it was a freaking uh, dog. All right. Be more careful, I say. Survive longer, I say. Die now, says the zombies. Alright. I mean, I'm pretty close here, so I'm not too worried. Alright, there's my backpack. Grab it. And then we'll GTFO. There was, I, I grabbed uh, one of those dead. Um, logs on the, on the river bank. Those are really easy to pick up. Uh, you don't get as many uh, wood planks out of them, but you do get wood planks out of them. So, you know, that's kind of a nice... Oh, I see some... Oh, empty. Oh, yeah. I see him because I already saw him. Alright. Let's see. We're still heading back um, along that other path. Because I'm not going to cross through the, um, um, what do you call it thing? The, uh, the wasteland biome. Okay, I just want to get a little bit clear. Okay, let me, um, I don't have enough tin cans yet. Okay, but I do have this chunk of wood. Okay, I'm going to lead these guys away a little bit. I'm going to come back and grab that bee because that bee's got honey, which is a decent food source. All right, these guys are far enough. All right, two. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm just going to run along the bank again. Um, the bank is going to give us a few things. One, it gives us these. Nice. Now we just gotta watch out for the freaking dogs again. Oh, water, beautiful. Water, water, water. Oh, cloth. Oh, and, 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 we, and we have a pipe. Okay, that's good. We got a pipe, now we need a book to make a forage. I'm gonna take the, this cloth fragment, turn it into a bandage, bandage because, you know, bandage. Just did a little bit of a breather. Okay, got some more grass. Okay, in this nice little field here, we gather all of these. You know, I wish I could be all awesome and just not die for you guys, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, I failed that. Let's take half of these, turn them into that. Let's take our two grasses, turn them into that. Grass, grass, stick. Stick, 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 crossbow, and then stick, stones, stick, feathers, crossbow bolts, get out of here, reload, it never comes loaded, so, oh, what the heck did I do? Did I not... 
What happened? What did I do? I lose the, the stick. What happened to the sticks? That was weird. Um, that was really strange. <laughs> I have to look back at the video and see what just happened there. But it's like these sticks just disappeared. Alright, get these berries. Uh, I want to get as many berries as I can possibly find. Oh man, it's already getting late. Oh, this is not an auspicious beginning, I do say so. Alright, um... What do we have here? Okay. Let me go ahead and cut over. Because I do not want to spend any more time with those gentlemen's. Okay, grab some more of this wood. Let's quickly take this wood. Pl planks. Sticks. Okay, so bolts. Let's craft all the bolts we can. Yeah, I lost the stones I cut, I, I, I converted, and I lost the wood. That's really strange. Okay, also, we have enough now tin can and an empty can gets us a scrap iron a scrap iron oh you need more sticks okay more sticks we need more wood hello okay let's grab these two pieces of wood and Right. Whew. Okay. Uh, I need to get myself um, a little bit of a clear breathing room here. All right. Get those rocks. I need to get 12 pieces of cotton. And. I need more. I need to go ahead and make those other crossbow bolts here. So let's go ahead really quickly and we'll kill these zombies. Oh, come on. Reload. Oh! Hey, buddy. And then nursey nurse. Oh, come on. And you, my dear. And then this big fat slob. All right, and while we're at it, well, paper. Now, a lot of people will say to toss the paper at the beginning, but you know what? Even oh, come on! You need it so much at the end that if you can, as long as you've got space, keep it. I mean, throw it as a last resort, but uh, otherwise, go ahead and keep that stuff. Okay, this other guy. Now those fat bastards also drop um, animal fat. Uh, they drop fat, so you can harvest their fat and use it to uh, make um, candles, or uh, not candles, but uh, torches. So it's a good idea to harvest them. Of course, I am playing on fifty percent, which makes everything just. Oh, there we go. There's some animal fat, and surprisingly, it does not stink. All right, it's five o'clock. Um, I think that it would be in our best interest to quickly throw together a very small limited shack because we are not going to get any farther um, today. So we have how many pieces of cotton? We've got ten pieces of cotton. We need two more. Okay, here we got. I saw you, zombie. I'll, get, I'll deal with you in a second. Nice. Got her on the upswing. 
Okay, so I think what we need to do really quickly is uh, throw together a base. Um, normally, I'd, I'd want to be somewhere else, be somewhere where I want, really want to be, but at this late in the day, we're going to be lucky to throw together anything. So, um, first things first, we need uh, this, cotton. Cotton split in half, gives you cloth fragments, cloth fragments, pattern like this, or type it into your bedroll, gives you a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag down on the ground. Boom. I live here. Shut up. All right, now chop down trees as quickly as you can with your pathetic little axe. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to do since I've got the materials for it now. I'm going to grab this. Uh, I won't take two empty can. Oh, this empty scrap metal. Uh, I think I need more sticks. Let me take half these determined sticks because I need more. Cross the bolts. Anyway, anyway, you go boom, 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 boom. Take that out of there. Put this here, and you get a barb club. Barb club is an excellent melee weapon. Highly recommend its usage. I'll make one frame to get started. Man, this, I love the starting. It's, the starting is where the fun of this game is. Because here's where I'm panicked and nervous, and I just want things to stop bothering me. Okay, so trees, chopping, now. Now I have a forage, um, which means I can't make a uh, cooking pot, but they've added now to the game the ability to um, cook, wa boil water in a can. So at least I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and drink my water that I've got. And I'm going to go ahead and drink my, my freaking Wonder Berries. Let's swap those out. It's slow, but you know what? I will take every last little bit of sustenance right now. So you got to kind of just do one at a time. You got to wait for the animation to finish, otherwise you'll, you can spam it and nothing will happen. Alright. Blueberries are a lifesaver. If you run through any kind of snow biome in your first day or even later on, first thing you want to do is pick up a nice batch. Oops. Just a little bit of clipping and occurring between those two items. Dang, it's 6.30 already. This is, this is so not good. We're, we're going to... Yeah, it's, it's going to be close. Keep on moving, buddy. Nothing to see here. Yep, just keep on moving. He's a fast mover, too. It'd be awesome if you actually could hide behind a tree and have it matter. <laughs> he's going he's going somewhere on a mission though, isn't he? He's he's hustling right along. Oh, and now I'm hunted by, ah, oh, there you are. Hello, my young lady. Okay, good. Okay, you want to get her some more cloths so I can get a few more, um, uh, uh, oh, oh, you did come over after all, didn't you, buddy? Oh, come on. We go ahead and switch to my barb club. Okay. Pretty effective weapon. Okay, now keep that for antibiotics. Okay. Oh, man. Hey, this is not looking good, guys. Damn it. Just leave me alone. Oops. We need a, at least like 30, 
30 frames to put a wall around ourselves. It's going to be close. Oh, great. Now, yeah, okay. A nurse. Wait for a head to up. Oh, wait for, kind of wait for a head to wobble back into position in it. There we go. Oh, excellent. First aid first aid bottle. Very nice. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. It's uh I always like I said, I always enjoy the the beginning. And uh this first video, first video will be a little bit longer because I will take you up um basically until until I get the the house up around me and then I will cut up call it out a, call that an episode for the first day. Um, I sh probably should have tried to go and find uh, a prefab to live in for the night, but by the time I kind of got going, I was already screwed, so. Ah, so sad, so long. I wonder what else they're going to roll out in Alpha 10. Looking forward to everything they, the, the, everything they bring. Okay, let's make our frames. Let's see, frame... Can make 30 of them. I think that'll be good enough to put a wall around ourselves. Okay, where'd our sleeping bag go? There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my frames down. Get these weird ground formations sometimes, and it's. I may go really small. Because you know what? It doesn't matter on the first night. I'm, it's not going to be a permanent habitation. This is just for me to basically be able to survive in. Pick it up. Talk about your uh, pathetic little place to live. Oh, great. It's actually kind of gimped. I've got to go up another layer. Okay, I've got, uh, luckily I've got more logs. Let's take half, half this. Right click and you'll take half of any stack. More frames. Need one more frame. Oh wow! This is like the this is this is pretty much the uh, shittiest house I've ever had at the beginning of the game. Okay, craft those down. Make a door. Oh, we got a uh, got. Oh man. Oh, come on. There we go. We have literally the vaguest thing that can be called a roof. All right, now we have the moon has come out and we have a tiny bit of light now.
All right, friends. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we are alive, and it is uh, the end of this episode. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed that, uh, watching me die again. How many? We got uh, two deaths. So we are less than our, our start of season one, so that is good. So I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, family, and your grandma. I will talk to you guys later.